Hello, everyone. This is Michelle Grove speaking. I'm the Interim Director of Religious Education for the Unitarian Universalist Church in Urbana-Champaign, and it is good to see you today. We're in some difficult times with the church closing for an undesignated amount of time and the lack of opportunity for all of us to gather together in community. We're searching desperately for some ways in which we can connect. And one of the ways that I use is something called Zoom video conferencing. This was a especially important tool for me and my family when we lived in Sisseton, South Dakota, because we were so isolated from friends and family, and for me in particular, from my Unitarian Universalist colleagues. So I spent a lot of time using Zoom to connect and found it a delight. I hope you do too. So watch closely as we enter this tutorial, and hopefully it will help you feel more comfortable in using it, because once you get it set up, it's quite easy. So currently, you are looking at the main page of my Gmail account. The way you will begin a Zoom video conference call is with an invitation. That invitation could come through an email, a text, a link on the web page, or any of the like. It can even come in Facebook or through Facebook Messenger. So right here is mine. It says Unitarian Universalist Church of Urbana-Champaign Religious Education Zoom link attached. So that's where I know it is. And when I open that email, this is what I see. So this is the invitation. Sometimes there'll actually be a day and date with it, or sometimes it's just an actual room. I am actually going to use the video portion of this, which means I will be using the Zoom USA with all the numbers, the underlined blue link to get to this. However, I do want to point out that you can join this by just using your phone. Down here under the line One Tap Mobile are two phone numbers. Don't worry if it says New York or San Jose. You can use either one of those phone numbers. Call one and then it will ask you for the meeting ID. There is the meeting ID right here. Put that in and it'll send you right to it and you'll be able to listen and to hear with no problem. So I'm going to click on this link, but if for some reason it doesn't open, you can also cut and paste the link into an open page on your browser. So if I click on it, see it takes me to this, this shows that it's loading. I want to say yes, open Zoom meetings. And once I do, it'll open it up. It'll ask me how I would like to do audio. I normally use computer audio, but you might also want to use the phone call. That is up to you and how comfortable you are with the quality of your phone, or excuse me, with your computer audio, or with your phone at that matter. You can also get on early and test your speakers and microphones to make sure that everything's sounding well. So if I hit that, and there we are, and now I'm going to come up here and make it a full screen. And there's your host. Hi, Andy. Ah, yep. oh, it's good to see you. Now, as you see, you don't see me yet. Now, I'm hoping this works because I am also recording, so sometimes there's a glitch. But down in the left-hand corner, there is a microphone and a video camera. You can mute yourself so that nobody can hear you or the noise behind you. And you can also turn off your micro or your video. So I'm going to try this. There it is. Yay, it worked. So now I am on. And you can actually get up to 25 people onto this. And so that's kind of fun when you have almost like the old Brady Bunch, except you have 25 boxes full of people's faces. It can be fun and a great way to connect. Now, like I said, you can turn off video, you can turn it back on, you can mute the mic. That won't work because I'm recording, but you can mute the mic. And then down here, there's all kinds of options. The ones that are probably the most important for you is this chat box. 
Now, Andy, do you see your chat box? Okay, great. Because when you get into this, I can now type a message to everyone. I might want to put a link in to say, hey, we're working on a Google Doc. Here's the link to what we're editing. Or I might want to just type a message. Here it says, everyone. What if I just wanted to send it to one person? So Andy is actually using the religious education office. So I could actually send him a private message that only he gets. Or I could then turn it to everyone and write everybody else, you know, a message. See, like this. And then Andy can respond and anybody else on the call can also respond. So that's a neat feature. Up in the top right hand corner, you can make the screen completely large by pressing on the four arrows that go in different direction. That shows how to make it larger. So if I do that, see now it takes up my whole screen. But if I want to minimize it so that I can get to other things, I can. The other thing I can do is I can change it to speaker view so that the only person you see is the person, like right now it's the host but sometimes it'll also switch over to the person talking. And then do you see where you see my picture? Everybody else will be lined up up there. So that's the other option. When I'm here, the other thing I can do if I wanna work on my computer is I can go to the minimize bar and minimize it. And now the conference is going on right here while I can access my webpage. So maybe I want to go to the church webpage and look up some things and I can do that and even if I wanted to I could share what I see on my screen with everybody else on the zoom call and you all thanks for everything and give me a call 605-237-1319 or email me at re-director at uucuc.org if you have any questions or problems. I look forward to seeing you at the next Zoom video conference. All right. Bye.